Hi students, let's continue with the techniques of the cascading style sheets. The next technique is the imported cast cascading style sheet. So far we have seen about the uh, internal cascading style sheet and uh, external cascading style sheet. Now let's see the imported CSS. So what is this imported CSS? In this method, the import a style sheet using at the rate of import statement. So with the help of at the rate of import statement, we are importing a style sheet. Import statement always used within the style tag. So remember this. Uh, whereas an external cascading style sheet, you are using the link tag instead of style tag to access the external file. But whereas an imported cascading style sheet, we are using at the rate of import and that will be used within the style tag. The first you have to create one CSS file that is a style.css. I am creating one style style.css just like an um, uh, external cascading style sheet. So there I am using the selectors H2, H1 and H3, the three selectors with the text alignment center and the font weight is a bold text decoration is underlined for H2. H1 is the text alignment is left side. So this is center and H1 is left side. The color is blue. Text decoration is blink. And H3 selector. Text alignment is right. Color is red. Text decoration is underlined. So now let's see how this import will be work. I am taking a file. A HTML file that is a CSS demo.html. Now I am going to import the style1.css. How? Let's see. HTML had in the style tag I need to write at the rate of import and the url is style1.css okay so where the, this is a file name where i have written everything the style uh, decoration the text alignment everything i have written in the style1.css i'm importing that uh, style1.css close the style tag head tag body and h3 is the welcome h1 is the everyone and h3 is to my education world okay and this will after saving, run the style1.css style for the output. If you want to see the output, just run the style1.css for the output. And we have to use a multiple import statement inside the style tags also. If you want, you can import multiple uh, import tags. If you want to execute, just go to the style1.css and execute that. Now, what will be the output here? The output is h2 is the welcome. So, what is the H2? Text align is center, font weight is the bold and text decoration is underlined. Okay, it should be the, in the middle with the bold letters. Welcome. Okay, so H1 is everyone. It is. It should be text align is left and color is the blue and text decoration should be the blink. So, this is a blink light everyone. It is in the left. Next, H3 is the text align, uh, alignment right and the color is the red color. Okay, and it is a red color and it has to text decoration is underlined. It should be underlined. It should be presented right to my education world. Education world and it should be underlined. So, this will be the output for this uh, imported cascading style sheet and another type of the cascading style sheet is the inline style sheet so this is the the last technique that is in the cascading style sheet inline style sheet in this technique style information incorporated directly into the html tag inline means within the uh, body you can write you can call the style sheet how let's see this we can easily modify the style of a particular element. If you want to change the style of a particular element, then it's better to go for the inline. If you want to change, the, every time if you want to change the uh, document outlook, then you can go for the external CSS. Okay. So inline means if you want to modify, it can be used to modify the style of a particular element. HTML. So here we are not using the style tag. In the body, you can use Within in H1, style is equal to text transform uppercase. Okay, so it should be all letters should be the uppercase letters. That is education for you is uppercase. Okay, so default I didn't given any alignment here. So the style is the text transform uppercase. So it should print all uppercase letters. Education for you. Okay, so this is also capital letter. And H2 is that 
uh, style color should be the green color and this is welcomes you all welcomes you all okay so this is the output for this uh, inline style sheet so i want to change only the particular uh, statements particular message so for that i can use without style tag i'm just writing a style is equal to text transform and style is equal to color green like that whatever the message i have written in between the h1 text that message will appear with the different fonts so these are the techniques of the cascading style sheets thank you